And so the word Tuatua came at the right time. It was a timely idea to give men and women a slogan that they can use if they want sexual need. Instead of saying, Tuekane, Unasema, can tua, we have tua. Tua, tua? You know, whatever language you use, yeah. Yeah. you are able to get a word that communicates to your partner exactly what you want. Yeah. Do you think mm. sex is important to the mm. elderly people over 50 like you? Wow. Because to them, like these young <laughs> viewers, yes. they think uh -huh. the minute you become a grandma, the minute you become 50, you yes. are done and that is it. He saw them making love. So yes. I don't know whether Rebecca alikuwa meshika kamuti na ee hui mwingine ya konyuma. Because you saw them making love. Women are more horny as we continue aging more than the man. Ananyonga manke. Nani muzee wa 67. Ananyonga kamaisha kabisa. If you eat correct and eat the right food, it will also give you the right energy for tua tua. viewers and welcome to Lucy Moria Network and thank you so much for the continued support of subscribing and watching. Thank you. We are growing very fast, putting the issues of and the plight of our elderly people on the track. Today we have a special couple who are our special guests today and these guests are Pastor Susan Monene and Reverend Joseph Monene. They are the founders of Overcomers Hope Kasarani and also Globe Strong Family. This is our couple of power, the popularly known as the Tua 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 family, the Tua 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 <laughs> couple. Yes. You're so famous. Yeah, <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Karibuni Su, Karibuni As, Joseph. Uh, thank you so we much. We are so Lucy. happy to have you. Yes. People are longing to hear from you yes. on the point of Wazes yeah. on our show because our show is about the issues and the plight of the elderly. Yes. And uh, there's an issue, the yes. Tua 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 issue. By yes. the way, Sue, yeah. can you introduce <laughs> yourself and then you tell us what wow. is Tua Tua Tua? Thank you so much. Yes. I want to take this opportunity to actually welcome every person who is listening to us this uh, this time wherever you are and we are very grateful uh, Lucy to be here uh, to come and speak about the elderly and issues about the Tuatua and I believe that at the end of this show you will have carried something and that you can be able to put into practice to make sure that your Tuatua becomes excellent <laughs> as God intended. My name is uh, Pastor Sumo Nene, popularly known as the Tuatua Pastor and uh, I am the Tuatare, she is the Tuata. <laughs> <laughs> and we believe so much in families, uh, between a male and a female, between a woman and a man, and uh, that's what we stand for, and our foundation is the Word of God. Uh, we want to say that we have been married over two decades, and we have uh, big children right now, but by God's grace, we move all around as we are in the body of Christ. Yes. We move around preaching, teaching, families and relationship and our youth on how they can get into relationship of marriage and be able to stay when they are well without killing each other, without separating, without divorce. And so we are here to share knowledge. I hope you are ready for us. Yes. Yes, let's move Thank on. Thank you, Sue. Yeah. Let's hear from Reverend Monene. Yes. Thank you so much, yes. uh, Ruse. Uh, we are so glad being on this network, yes. uh, the channel of Ruse Moria. Yes. Uh, today, viewers, you don't have to struggle to look for us. Yes. We are right here. <laughs> You can listen, you oh, can yes. learn, yeah. you can get everything that you want. Oh, yes. We'll be talking about the elderly, we'll eh. be talking about the tour tour, uh -huh. even the young people, we're yes. also going to talk about them. Oh, yes. My name is Leverett Joseph Monene, yes. uh, the senior pastor of Akamas Hope Ministry, oh, yes. located right at Kasarani, mm -hmm. Seasons Stage. Well, thank wow. you so much, yes. viewers. Stay tuned. Yes. We have, it's going to be hot today. Yes. So, I don't know who eh. we start with. Is wow. it the tour <laughs> <or the tuatua? laughs> Now, the Tua Tres is a new one. <laughs> now, yes. what is Tua Tua before we come to wow. Tua Tres? Because we know God made the man first and the, the woman second. Wonderful. So, was, is it Tua Tua uh -huh. or Tua Tres which is started? <laughs> of course, the Tua Tua so slogan. So, what is Tua Tua? Uh, yes. uh, tua Tua slogan has become a household to many who didn't have a language to communicate between a husband and a wife when they needed sex. 
from one another. Mm. I want to let you know that in Africa, and especially the country where we come from, sex is a taboo, sex is ugly, sex is dirty, yeah. it should not be spoken publicly. And so the word watwa came at the right time. It was a timely idea to give men and women a slogan that they can use if they want sexual need. Instead of saying, tuekane, Unasema, can tua, we have tua. Tua, tua? <laughs> You know, whatever language you use, yeah. you're yeah. able to get a word that communicates to your partner exactly what you want. Yeah. Our, or the original meaning of the tua, tua is our coded language for godly sex in marriage. Mm. That's the way I would frame it. So the tua, tua means um, godly sex in marriage. Mm. It's our coded language for godly sex in marriage. Oh, between a husband yeah. and a wife. Okay. Not between any other things and you know especially mm. in central province yes we have a problem yes we don't have good ones for good things yeah oh yes uh, you like to <laughs> 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 like to a tour, yes. you find that uh, the, the names that we use oh, yes. when we talk about making love uh -huh. or uh, you want to ask your partner for this, mm -hmm. there, there are names that you wonder where did we get them from. Yes. Wow. And I'm so happy <laughs> that one of the elderly couples, well, yes. is it from men or from women? They're actually from men. What did they say? Uh, they here? called me and they yes. told me that the, yeah. when the Tua, Tua clip came out, yes. they told me, you don't know what you have done to us uh -huh. as elderly people because we didn't have a word to yeah. use when we need. Mm -hmm. You know, you, when you need sexual, um, uh, when you feel you have a sexual need and you want your husband and your wife to meet it, mm -hmm. so they used to part one another. Mm -hmm. You know, but now <laughs> we have a language they can use. So, so yeah. that's thank very you amazing. Sue for that yeah. and Monene. Yeah. Yes. And uh, we are very happy today because a lot of maybe the elderly people, the yes. rest, uh, it's on usually the young people on the social media, yes. and they make fun of the tua tua. Yes. But uh, we are glad. I will also be using it. Yeah, be using it to address. Yes. 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 So yes. Can use it now the question here mm. um my question is because our network is about the issues affecting the elderly oh yes uh in the man's laws the hierarchy of needs yes. there are needs basic needs yes and you correct me if i'm not right yes the needs i know the basic needs are water mm -hmm. shelter food and the sex Yes. Oh, yes. Sex, yes. sex yeah it was added. but a lot yeah. of people think it's not yeah so do you think mm. sex is important to the elderly people over 50 like you wow because to them like <laughs> these young viewers yes. they think uh -huh. the minute you become a grandma the minute you become 50 you yes. are done and that is it yes and uh it's an it is very i mean unusual like they, they think men they are the only ones who are supposed to continue with the tua tua tua. Yes, uh, and uh, we have seen like lately, just uh, like the young girls have been dying, being thrown uh, on the floor. To, yes. To talk about that later. Yes. Was there when it uneskia wana kufia kwa malongings? Mm -hmm. Suyu wa mekunywa viagra, suyu yeah. wanafanya nini, atujui nini yes. wanakula. Mm. And they, those times they are with the young people. Yes. Mm. So what do you think sex is important to the older people? Wonderful. A very good question. And I want to say to <coughs> every person who is listening that mm. sex is very very important to any type of age whether you are young and you are old uh, the only challenge is that uh, we tend to think as you grow older sex is not a priority tend but to think. Uh, you tend to think but if you look at the Bible because the basis is on the Bible yes. you know if you look at uh, people like Adam and Eve you know, when you look at Abraham, mm -hmm. you know, being our father of faith yes you know this man was married even when he was 170 and the Bible says when he was 100, 140, the wife Sarah died yes. and they buried her. And the Bible says when this man was 140, he married a girl called Keturah. Keturah. And this girl, they were able to get six boys mm -hmm. and girls were not counted. That means this man was still having to atua. At, at 150, at 160, at 170. Yes. So that means God is happy. Because the person who gave us the gift of sex in marriage is God. So God is the one who gives us strength for us to tua tua. Whether you are young, whether you are you are the middle you are whether you are very old of a hundred years to a tour with your to a tour, to a tour with your the only thing and in the, tour only tour. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing with the tour tour and yes. godly tour tour yeah. you're not supposed to change the partner you can change the venue but you're not supposed you can change the style mm -hmm. but you can't change the the partner mm. that's the godly the godly whatever tua, tua. so you can have it in the kitchen you can have it in the bathroom you can have it in the bedroom you can have it in the table room in the fields you know, you can have it as long as nobody is seeing yes. you. Nobody should see you having yeah. to attua with your wife is and your that husband. Is for the young people or for the older? Everybody, people? everybody. Okay. everybody. And yeah. that's why the Bible as talks about... As long as you are married. As long as yes. you are married. If you read the book of Genesis 26 verse 8, 
the Bible talks of a king who was called Abimeleki. And he had invited these two guys who are Re uh, Rebecca and Isaac. And initially they told the king that they are brothers and sisters. But the Bible says when Abimelech looked through the window, through the window, that means they were in the field, he saw them making love. So mm -hmm. I don't know whether Rebecca alikuwa meshika kamuti na ee hui mwingine yako nyuma. Because he saw them making love. That's what the Bible says. Genesis 26 verse 8. They were in the field. They were in the field. <laughs> and in the field there is no bed. So, so you can do it anywhere. You can do it anywhere. The only mistake they did is Abimeleki saw them. Yes. Nobody should see you apart from God. God. When I want to remind you, when Adam and Eve were in the Garden of Aden, there were no beds. There were no rooms. There were no rooms. So where were they to touring? In the field. Wanatafuta mahali kuna kanyasi, wanatuatua, and immediately Kai and Abel were born. So, Bishop, uh, <laughs> Reverend Monene, yes. as a man, they tuatua, yes. and they tuatua the rest. Yes. What would you tell now, waze wale wakona miaka, amsini na kuendelea, mm -hmm. waendelea, ama wakai, wameito shosho, guka, wakai tu? This is what I would tell all the men mm -hmm. yeah. who are 40, 50, and above. Even oh, yes. 40? Yes. Yes. There are so many of them today, they are unable to tour tour yeah. oh, due yes. to so many reasons. One of the things I would want to say here today, and I want every man to listen to me, How, what you eat in your body is very, very important. If you eat correct and eat the right food, it will also give you the right energy for tour tour. We have got a problem in our generation. And the people, um, many of the people today, they say, Mimi nakuranga kira kitu. Hakuna kitu sikurangi. Sikuwa mm, mawe na chuma. Mawe na, <laughs> na, chuma. <laughs> na chuma. Now that one has really brought a lot of problem. Mm. No wonder so many, many men today who are 40, 50 and above. They are unable to tua tua. Maana hakuna kitu wa kurangi sikuwa mawe na, 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 chuma. na chuma. That's what they say. So what is the problem we have today? The problem we have is they are eating long range. And at the end of this broadcast, we'll be uh, giving our, our number. So that in case you want to know how to eat healthy, for healthy to a tour, so that you're able to perform better and perform more, you can be able to call us and advise you so that you can be able to improve your tour. Kwanu to apatia Viagra? I have never taken it. And Na uko sawa? Oh, my friend, even this morning. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That was true. <laughs> ah, <laughs> yes. Is, is okay. yes. Yes. Oh I, and it's because of what he's saying, yeah. eating right yes. according to his blood group. That's another area ah. that we have not known. Wow. Yeah, so, so that you can remain having strength and energy mm -hmm. and stamina for two hours. When you are old, mm -hmm. from 40 years and above, going mm -hmm. to 60, 70, eat food according to your blood group. Oh, really? So you need to see us so that we teach you how to eat food according to your blood group and your tua tua will change completely. Mm. Don't eat everything. Na kula Viagra tena. Yes, na wata kula Viagra tena kwa sababu kikula chakula vizuri mm. your body na also kulingana na blood group wow. your body gets strength because you are what you eat physically, mm -hmm. you are what you eat or feed in your mind, and you are what you eat spiritually. Pastor Su, oh, yes. Sasa, um, ili umeongea yote, you've been talking about Ibrahim, yes. eh. not the women. Yes. Umeongea waze, wakakua meaka mingi, mm -hmm. wametuatu hata wakua waze sana. Yes. Are you saying wamama wakifika 50 yao, wamezeka nao yao imeishi hapo? Eh. Or what would you tell now as about the women? Now? Wonderful. Yeah. When we talk ab about Abraham, we cannot remove Sarah. Yes. Because they were married to they were each of each of them were married. Mm. Remember when Sarah was one when when the man of God Abraham was a hundred years is when and, and Sarah was ninety years. It is when they got their firstborn Isaac. So the, it means they were still having sex according to biblical teachings. Mm -hmm. You get that. So we are not talking that the woman. In fact, women are more honey as we continue aging more than the man. The one is Why? Dying. Yeah, honey. <laughs> Why? Remember, a woman has two hormones that controls her, estrogen and progesterone. So when the estrogen goes down, you know, the progesterone is on. And the man through the semen that comes out from the prostate yes. is what maintains a woman, you know, physique to stay young and promising. Good skin, kucha zisianguke, kauso kanaka muzuri. So, yes, you'll get that. Eh? The and semen. then the men. Through the semen. Yeah, through the, and then the men, the way God has created them. There is a test that, is, that there is a hormone produced by the testes the testes the nye, you know yeah. that 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 hormone as the man ages it continues to go down 
and that's one of the hormones that makes men not to be strong and that's why it's very important for you to have a medical doctor not a herbalist a medical doctor who can be able to work with you the journey check your blood sugars check whether you have a high blood pressure check whether you have arthritis check whether you are you are okay any other arthritis so that you are treated earlier before the symptoms get you to a place so where by women you cannot 50 oh, are they okay Do yes they be continuing they the should continue water? with it what according oh, to yes. the word of god so the only thing they should change is the venue uh, the venue only not but the not the person oh, okay and oh, also yeah. they can they can try some styles Kama zingiani, it brings wow. an, an edge of excitement yes, to a couple. Yes, Oh yes. Exactly. So, wama wengine labda kuna vitu awajui ndi wafanya yes. wazewa na toroka. Uh -huh. Can you tell them? I want to tell the women like this. Mm. If you are not sexually active when you are 50 years and above, you will find yourself deviating from the truth. You will start having now DDoS. Mm -hmm. You know, vibrators. Uh -huh. Because now you have that sexual need and you are trying to deny it. Yet in your privacy, you know you are struggling with the sex. My dear one, call us, we make sure that we, we treat this guy, make him more strong, so that sex can continue. It is a, a need. It is a, a natural need, because the, the greatest sex organ is not the penis, it is not the vagina, mm -hmm. it is not the joystick, it yes. is not the joy well, it is the mind. So when the mind is okay, even the joystick and the joy well will be all right. During this time when a woman is old from uh, 50 years and above, mm. because of the estrogen going down, they get something we call dryness of the vagina, such that penetration becomes a bit difficult. What are you supposed to do? How stariku to me a mate at a pu 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 apana? Don't do that. Don't do that because the normal germs that protect the mouth is a fungi. So when you apply mate in the vagina, yes, you are going to get that cardiasis. Maziwa utanza kutoa discharge in kaka kama maziwa mala. And at the same time, it makes you get sickness. You're not supposed to use Vaseline. You're not supposed to use uh, olive oil. You're not supposed to use anything that can mess up with the pH yeah. of the vagina. What are you supposed to use? Number one, have a prolonged foreplay together with your husband and with your wife. Then number two, go to your chemist. Go to your pharmacy, buy something we call KY Jelly. Jelly. That's what you're supposed to apply five minutes before because in a kuanga very in a kuanga baridi. Unapaka five minutes before so that in a kuwa warmed by the vagina because the temperature of the vagina is constant. So they need to enjoy sex equal, even better than when they were young. So, 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 and if you have any challenge with sexuality, come and see us. We're going to give our numbers so that we can help you because we have medical doctors who work with us who are able to help the elderly people to enjoy their tua tua all the days of their life until death do them apart. So Another problem, be, yes, yes. which mm. also maybe could be there yeah. with the people who are not enjoying tua tua, mm. it is because of their mindset. Wow. The upbringing. Yes. The way they grew being taught what is sex and uh -huh. what is not sex. Oh, yes. You find that uh, most of the people, they were not taught alike. Mm -hmm. They were not told exactly the whole truth. And then you grow. You, you are young. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. The young men and the young women, mm -hmm. they were not taught. Uh, the they were not taught. Exactly. Kitu ya kuficha. Aha. Kitu ya kufanya gizani. You get it. Yes, eh? pastor. So you find that. Nazima uh, stima. <laughs> <laughs> because of poor upbringing yes. and knowledge mm -hmm. and information about tua tua, mm -hmm. even when they grow, they mm -hmm. tend to take it as a bad thing, mm -hmm. it is not enjoyable, mm -hmm. it is not for us, it's for the young people mm -hmm. and all that. And that's why we need to come out clearly and tell people the way it is without coat, sugar coating. Wow. As a couple. As a couple. Because oh, yes. it's something you do. Yes. That that, go be, exactly, go exactly. And that's yes. why we have even written books, like we have had one of our best book called Naked and Not, Not Ashamed. That is a book I would recommend that's to every couple. That's a book couple. every couple, even if you are 60 years. Naked and Not Ashamed. It is a sex book. Sex Powerful book. book. Yes. No matter how old you are. Our, yeah, based on the word of God. Because as Pastor Monene is saying, mm -hmm. we have 187 verses mm -hmm. that talks about sex. Are you aware of that? 187 verses that talks about In sex. In the Bible. Yes. So how many do you know? None. Because if you don't know something, you are likely not to, to enjoy mm. the benefit of it because mm. you don't know. Mm. You do. A, we have done a research on that. Mm -hmm. Verses in the Bible. 187 the verses. The Bible mentioning sex. Oh yes, talking about sex. Others, the reason why they're not enjoying maybe to a tour, yes. it is because maybe they are not, um, they are sick. 
maybe for oh, instance yes. someone is maybe practicing masturbation masturbation ananyonga manke na ni mzee wa 67 ananyonga kamaisha kabisa and uh -huh. you're not supposed to kunyonga manke because masturbation has its own side effects yeah. because yeah. number one yes yeah. Yeah. If, you, if, you, if you go to the internet yeah. they'll tell you 40 benefits of sex thank mm. you pastor monene mm. for that mm. so any man and mm. this is very important masturbation is when you as a man or a woman mm. you stimulate your vagina mm. or your penis to get climax or to get sexual pleasure yeah. but when a husband is, is stimulating the clit, the vagina, or vice versa. Mm. That is not masturbation. No. It is when you pick your hands. Oh, you're supposed to be... My, my that is part of foreplay. Oh. Foreplay is, for play is uh, when yeah. the other person is your partner doing it on you. But when you take the initiative yeah, of, do, of, of, of getting sexual pleasure using your hands, using uh, 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 dindos, uh, puse, puse pockets, kuna tu vagina, tuna bebo na watu. Na wanaume. Yeah, na wanaume, tu made of silicone. Those are things that you, if you get used to that, you will, will, never, you will never be satisfied, be satisfied by you your husband never. and by your you wife. Because, listen to this, never ever create a relationship with things that are not living is a is a is a sex toy living no, no. is is your is your carrot and the cucumber living no another man was telling me melon at that anatom ana anatombo ashimu anaingia huko is a melon living no. why are you creating a relationship with things that are not living yet we you can create that with your wife you can create that with your with your husband so, so masturbation, masturbation is, yes. very, is very serious yes. because number one uh -huh. what masturbation does mm. It is true it will give you pleasure, but it has serious, dire consequences. consequences. Number one, for the man, the way God has created the penis of a man is mm. more is made up of muscles that are cylindrical. Mm. Cylindrical like a gas. The way the, a, a cylinder looks mm. like cylindrical mass. We have the, 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 the muscle, the first muscle, the, the canovas muscle, and we have the sponge muscle. In this muscle, what happens when a man takes his hand and begins to, to cause Massage. friction? Yes. Number one, remember... If you remember our biology, we have, your fingers have phalanges, the two most small bones, Both. the 14 of them, that makes your fingers. Under here we have the, the, the metacarpals, and here we have the carpals. I'm sure you can remember that in your biology. Mm -hmm. So what happens? Remember the way God has created the vagina, it has no bone. Mm -hmm. The penis has no bone. Exactly. Now you are introducing a hand that has bones. So when you grip your penis mm -hmm. and you begin to form friction what happens the muscle senses it is under danger so what does it do it hardens in a cool hard and that's why any man who has masturbated for six months one year two years five ten years the penis has sh shrinks in a shrink kamakua kadogo Kana, kana, una, una, una kuta, the way it is supposed to be with with muscles it is a bit shrink and then uh, it shrinks then number two it destroys the blood vessels that supply blood to the penis yeah. so kwamba, the, the veins are now meandering instead of them being like straight you know like they are going towards yeah. the blood penis kwamba, it's like they are meandering so in the brain he feels he's, he, he has erected but when he goes he goes off so he, he gets so frustrated mm -hmm. wow. number three thing it destroys the nerves <laughs> Remember, your penis and your vagina has nerves. So anytime you have sex, uh, when you have sex with a woman, when you enter the vagina of a woman, remember the temperature of the vagina is constant. You are the one who determines. When do you determine? So the brain is already used to the temperature of the hand. So you can your vagina immediately in unamwaga. Because you may put a shock. You can't 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 put a So that's what happens. So immediately the man and a mother immediately. So what happens? That, man's, well, that man, that woman yes. will never be sat. Once it is worse for a woman. Mm -hmm. These dindos women are buying. They don't know they are destroying their nervous system. You will never be satisfied by a man. Ata mwana umi akai hapo one hour, two hours. Unasikia ni kama penso inasunguka huko. Because you can't get satisfied. You have already destroyed the sensitivity of your vagina. Because the sensitivity of a woman is at the crit and two to three inches in the vagina. So the minute you use dildos and they mess your nervous system, my dear one, you will never be satisfied by a, a husband. So what happens? Any person who is in masturbation, marriage is not a solution. First of all, deal with the masturbation overcome it then after that get a woman to marry get a husband to marry uh, to be married to 
get a wife, get a husband. But most people think, since I'm struggling with masturbation, could it be, ni you see a girlfriend, mm -hmm. you see a wife, ukimare, unakuta ya kwamba, munakutana na your wife that seconds, alafu immediately, unaenda kumasturbate kwa bathroom. Na your wife the same, anakutana na wewe, the, the kawaida, the dutiful sex, then unaenda kuchukua ki vibrator, unakonect kwa socket. Iriku, because you are used to being, who is that man who is going to shake you? There's like nothing like that. Greater. So I want yeah. to say the things that have come from Western, they might look like they are fashionable, yeah. but they have dire side effects to our bodies. Your body, the vagina, there are three functions of a vagina. Number one is this to remove period if you're on your menses. Mm -hmm. Number two, it is to remove the baby if you're pregnant. Number three, it is to receive the penis, not to receive anything else. Not to receive a, a sex toy, not to, to receive a carrot, not to, to receive your hand, you will mess up. So masturbation is very dire ex wow. I want yeah, to say this. Yeah. I want wow. to say this, Pastor Monene. If you are there and you are a lady and you are a man and you have a problem with erectile dysfunction, kusimamisha, you have a problem with kumwaga haraka, you stay for too long before ejaculate with your wife or with your husband, or you stay for too long before you get an erection for you to be able to perform, or you are a woman who doesn't feel anything, we have a solution. We have a hospital uh, at Ikasarani that treats all that and you'll be treated by medical doctors and we try to reverse those side effects that you have acquired in your body when you never knew. So, so there is a solution, there yeah. is hope. Uh, Reverend, yes. because you are a man, yes. and now we hear that uh, Yes. Unaskia maramingi waze uh, wame, wame kufia kwa lodging. Yes. Now, wazembe, somebody ame retire, maybe yeah. ame chukua package yake. Aliona maybe mama, ali, ame kuwa baridi vile ulisema wa mama wame njiachilia, utatuelezea tena. Mm -hmm. So, mzee wanaenda na wasichia na hawa, ndogo, ndogo. Is it, this mzee, is he with those girls because he satisfies them? Or because they satisfy him? Uh, or what makes, what is killing them? I would want to say, yes. before yeah. I answer that question, mm -hmm. And this to the all young ladies yeah. or young men yeah. who are not married. Yeah. Oh yes. That dating a married man is like driving a parastato car mm -hmm. that will never be yours. Powerful. Powerful. When you are dating someone who belongs to somebody else, mm -hmm. you are wasting your energy, mm -hmm. you are wasting your time, you are wasting your generation. Because one of the prop i don't know who will tell people when god created man and a woman he made sure there is enough men in the world and enough women in the world yes but there's a madness that is there a myth and a myth mm -hmm. it's nothing like that it's a lie it's a lie Statistics have shown it is not true. God so can now, never make such a mistake. Mm. Mention that, mm -hmm. uh, Reverend. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, Pastor Sue. Yes. Uh, this question of now that you said mm -hmm. the question of uh, was there one to sponsors mm -hmm. to a young girls while we come universities mm -hmm. and ama uh, wengine mm -hmm. kama the last two months to meskia kama kumi hivi wame dead mm. wanakuja wanangushwa mm -hmm. unasikia wewe ulituma mtoto shule umengra, umeuza shamba umepeleka the next thing unasikia kona mzee warika yako ama mm. ata mkubwa kukushinda mm. what is this what could you tell these wazes or these girls now I think it's what Pastor Monene has just said. Yeah. That uh, we have a distorted mindset because yeah, we, the sure. older generation, we are not coming out to speak the truth to the young. And you see, when you, do, when you, when you, are, when you are curious to get a certain information and you don't get it, yeah. you go to the internet. That's what our children are doing. And that's why this, these forums and these networks are very important. We come and speak to people the truth yeah. and tell them there is a way that seems right to a person. Yeah. But the end of that road is death and destruction. The road looks okay, but when someone intervenes and tells you this, well, the way you are going, yes. there is death and destruction. As Pastor Monene has said, you are able to stop. So the problem is we have been, would I say, we have casualized sex. We have, um, what did I say? We have uh, uh, transactional sex. Mm -hmm. It's about money. And you see, sex. yeah, transactional sex. True. Transactional no, sex, yes. yes. Tra the way you do a transaction. It's natural. It's not even, it. yeah, because of what you are getting. Because I've talked to some even yes. young girls. Mm -hmm. Wanasema, 
mm. wao anaweza kuwa hata na boyfriend tatu yes moja wa pesa mm -hmm. moja wa sasa ule normal sasa ule Mungu amesema this huyo for love yes. na mwingine siyo wa nini mm -hmm. sasa Manda. na then mm. na wale wao anaita boyfriend wa pesa mm -hmm. ni hao sponsors <laughs> all the men angel of their grandfathers mm -hmm. tunasikia msichana mdogo anakuambia what is wrong nikikutana na mse wa seven tabora mm -hmm. na what i need oh yes what can you yes, say if you if you have a relationship mm -hmm. yes. that is based on money yeah property yeah. or whatever it is yes. you will never be satisfied oh yes every relationship must be based on love and love alone wow the problem we have today with so many relationship it is what pastor has just said yes transactional sex it is what I can get from vagina you. Yes. Yes. Because we also yes. have sugar mummies. Who are also the when these young girls mm. think their boyfriends are now it's like they want them to be bought by these boys. Yes. So at your zero love. Uh, when the reason why we are, a, it's not love. There is yeah. no love. Mm. Because you see now we have met because of a transaction. Yeah. And one of the things that is uh, is not in these young people is that they are not generational. Mm -hmm. Because if I'm a married woman like me, I'm, I'm now over 50 years, then I get hooked up with a young boy. I'm just wasting him. Missy, where is I cannot. I don't have. Minisha, sir. So this boy is being wasted time by this sugar mommy in the name of money. When he comes back to his senses, he will find that it is too late. Number yes, one, he, he has also messed his mindset. Because if you, if you try, if you keep on sleeping with older women, it is like an addiction. Nikama cocaine addiction. Nikama masturbation. You also want old women. So at the end of the day, when you are 50, 60 years, you don't have a generation to, to show. People have moved from being generational. And I want to say this. If you are there and you are a man, and you are a, you are a husband and you are a wife, and you are moving on with small girls, my dear one, you are not a generational. Because a generational woman and generational father and mother will never take advantage of another young boy. Like me, I have so many workers, young men. Actually, most of them are men who I work with. How can I take advantage? Destroy them. They have just come out mm -hmm. from college just because they are desperate for money. Why can't I give them work and then in exchange I pay them? But not at the end of Pastor Munene Akitoka, now on the other side, now on the same bed that we sleep with Pastor Munene and have sex. Ebuni waulize, nani huyo ashawa itoka inje, aka have sex with a girl, younger or old, or vice versa. Ukabeba yo kiutamu ati unaikulia mwaka muzima. It is, it is not true. And you go speaking about And you go this. speaking at bragging. Yes, at you know. Nifanya, with nobody. So this sexual pleasure is just a scam. It's not something that you can do it once and cut it and we are like all the days of your life. So what happens? The enemy makes you sure that you are, you are a slave of sex. Remember, it is very important for us to know. When you are a father and a mother, and I want to give a very good example. This person who had all the qualities of what we would love, David in the Bible. This man was a king. This man was a priest. I, I think I would call him an archbishop. But he had a problem with his joystick. What happened? Akaona mwanamuki anabed, akaenda kumuchunguri, akasema leta, akalala na ye. When, when, when prophet Nathan came and he gave him the, the riddle and he knew he was the one, there is one mistake he did in yes. Psalms 51. What did he say? At the Lord, only you alone have I sinned. No! He, was, he had also sinned to his generation. So God forgave him, but the consequences of that act affected, number one, his daughter, Tama, was raped by his son, Amnon. Two, two children are already now involved in, in, in fornication and adultery. Absalom slept with the father's wives on a day moonlight. What was a rape on the day when people were taking cameras. It also affected Solomon. Solomon had, had, had 700 wives, you know, 300 wives and 700. It affected. The reason why you should not perform sexual act, it is because that seed that you have planted is generational. The Bible says in the New Testament that whatever a man soweth, he shall surely reap. Exactly. And I want to ask you, will your children and your great grandchildren be fortunate to get a man of God who can teach them the word and get out of that sexual bondage? I came to tell us, Never allow your erection <laughs> as a wife and a husband to determine your direction and your action in life. You exercise self-control. Are you no more? Are you no more? God has created you with self-control. 
So you can keep when you can control. In fact, in the medical field, they call it 1% when yeah. the accounting bans. 1%. When the accounting bans, the vagina and the penis is called 1%. Because your head is 9%, your heart is 18, 18, the front of the body is 18, 18, your leg 18, 18, that makes 99%. Then your vagina and your penis is called 1%. How can you allow your 1% to control 99% unless you are not, you are out of your mind? People must stop adultery. People must stop fornication in Jesus' name. So, wow. oh, thank you very much. Uh, yes. Bishop. If you have not subscribed yet, <laughs> please do so. This is fire. As we are rounding <laughs> up now, make sure you subscribe to Lucy Moria Network. You will not miss this cup of power. Uh, Reverend Monene, yes. talk to the wise of this country. Yes. Wow. The ones over 50. Yes. Tell them they have your final word. Yes. As as a reverend also a pastor will talk to women right. of this country. To the men in this country, mm -hmm. Africa, all over because Lucy Channel is a channel which is being sent all over the world. That's right. I'll tell you to do what the Bible says in Proverbs mm -hmm. chapter 5 and verse 15. Yes. The Bible says drink water learning water of pure marriage relationship from your own system. Kama unakunywa maji, ukunye kwa kisima yako. And the Bible talks of pure marriage relationship. That's what the Bible says. So, if you love your generation, don't go out with the girls. Oh, yes. If you love your future, if you love your children, mm -hmm. if you want to leave a good name behind, don't go out at all. Stay with your wife, stay with your husband, and when you do that, the Lord will bless you. I always say, one woman is too enough. Too enough, Pastor Munene. I wonder, like, now me, <laughs> hey, where can I go? Where can Surely? I go after Mimi? Even then, I don't have it. She's too much. She's too much. Ah. 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 Too much. <laughs> where are thou? One woman is too enough. enough. Oh, yes. So, stay with your wife. Hallelujah. Stay with your husband. Yes. And when you do that, mm -hmm. the Lord will bless you. Yes. Lastly, I want to remind you, if you want to get us, we are right at Kasarani, Sisos stage. Mm -hmm. You take number 17B, right from Up town. There you Okay. Pastor Sue, yes. you've Mayonga and you as a couple, yes. yes. And we know there are people who are maybe unfortunate in yes. Waze, yes. maybe Mze Ali Kufa, maybe Mama Ali Kufa. Oh, yes. But still you are also there to mm. live. So what can you tell them? Wow. What can you tell these That's a yeah, very good question? Yes. Yeah, I want to speak to someone who is there and your elderly probably you are over fifty years and your husband and your wife died. The Bible says as long as you are the age of sixty five and below you are allowed to marry yeah. but marry somebody who is in the lord not someone who is in the world uh -huh. someone who is in the lord so you are allowed to marry and if you don't want to marry what you do is very easy redirect your sexual energy to something constructive mm -hmm. no, that's master powerful no masturbation don't do masturbation because oh. you are going to get the spirit of lust and that spirit of lust will affect you and affect your generation don't be selfish as pastor munene has said be generational number two let us obey the bible principles what does the owner the originator of sex the one who gave us the vagina and penis what does he say follow the instructions without argument when we do that we're gonna have a great marriage great relationship great grad grad children because we are generational so i want to say this the dignity of every man and woman it is the capacity to stand against sexual temptation and honor your body the rest of your life. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so much. That was Pastor Sue Munene and yes. Reverend Munene. Yes. The two are two are couple yes. you've had. Please subscribe. Don't miss this. Mm. And now they have said, they always say it as it is. Yes. They call it by its name. Yes. They call it as it is. Was there Mumeskia? There's nothing wrong with tua tua tua, just stick to your tua 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 partner and you can only change, you can only change the venue, the venue. You can only change the partner. But not the partner. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much. Yes. God bless you wow. and continue changing the world. Yes. We are in this together. Yes. And maybe one pastor, 
you can invite the guest to your church. Wow, Tell by the let way. us well know where wow. you are. Yes. Thank you, our listeners, for being together with us. I'm yes. sure you have enjoyed this show. Mm -hmm. You better be here again next time, oh, a time yes. like now. Oh, yes. But before then, I want to invite you to come and fellowship with us on Sunday. Yes. We are at Seasons Stage. Kasarani, mm -hmm. number 17B, mm -hmm. when you are right, the first right turn, mm -hmm. you will see, number one, Kresete Medical Center. Now, if you have got a medical challenge, that's where you come mm -hmm. and we assist you. Yes. After Kresete Medical Center, uh, 50 meters down, there is Overcomers Hope Ministry. Oh, yes. You got that. Mm -hmm. Overcomers Hope Ministry. Every Sunday at 10 to 12 30, you will get us right there. And it's on Wednesday, 7 to 9. We are always in the church. And you can reach us by calling 0712-265-746 for booking us, for you want to buy a book, maybe Naked and Not Ashamed, mm. or even for counseling. Counseling, medical, medical attention. Exactly. Oh, yes. Whatever you do want to, mm. call that number 0712-265-746. We'll be happy to serve you oh, yes. uh, in the best way possible. Thank you. So much. You're good Thank you so much. You Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you.